for imposed penalty call drops that are supposed to take effect beginning 2016. Prerna Baru are joining us with that story. Uh, Prerna, you know, this was an expected move. The telcos would move a court. They would seek legal recourse. But on what grounds have they filed that petition? Well, this move by the uh, telecom companies comes at a time when the tri chairman and as well as the telecom minister uh, did say that no going back on the uh, regulation as far as compensating customers is concerned. Uh, we understand that the te telecom uh, body, uh, you know, COI and the OSPI have, uh, you know, challenged uh, uh, the, the tri's regulation and has moved uh, the Delhi High Court, asking the Delhi High Court uh, to strike down the telecom regulator tri's uh, uh, regulation asking telecom operators to uh, to compensate customers for every call drops. What the telecom operators are seeing in their uh, petition is that uh, the TRI has no jurisdiction or power to grant compensation uh, to customers and that they have no jurisdiction. And in fact, TRI is also, uh, you know, they are already penalizing telcos on uh, quality of service uh, violation norms and that they are uh, charging hefty penalty from the telecom operators. So what uh, telecom operators are saying that, uh, in fact, the Dell uh, license agreements do not require telecom operators to provide relief or compensate customers. So these are the legal grounds that they have taken and they have asked, uh, will be asking the Delhi High Court to strike down uh, TRI's regulation. So we are expecting an early hearing in this matter and the matter is expected to be heard uh, on Monday. Back to you. Okay, so that's what the petition has to say, the one that has been filed by the telcos at the Delhi High Court. In fact, let's talk a little more about that. Here's Rajan Matthews, the COI Director General, in conversation with Prerna. When the TRAI turns around and then says you have to then provide relief in terms of almost a penalty to the consumer, we believe it's gone beyond its brief and also that there's really no synergy between the amount of money that is being given to the consumer and the alleged uh, problem that is being cited right. as an excess. So, and also, I remember in the letter, you all did cite that, you know, as per the licensing, uh, you know, agreements, uh, the telcos are not mandated to provide any compensation to its uh, customers. So is this also one of your prayers uh, in the petition? So there are rules and regulations for consumers to seek redress in the appropriate forums. Okay. There's the consumer forum, there's the anti-competition -compet uh, forums, and any and all of those are available. Right. The 1885 Act, under which we are licensed, the uh, Telegraph Act, mm -hmm. indicates that uh, since it is a sovereign right, okay. we, uh, the individual subscribers have to not come as individuals but as an aggregation. And so again, uh, that is tangential, but the main issue is one of saying is that the uh, amount of penalty versus the alleged uh, problem mm -hmm. doesn't bear any correlation.